Pasa for Pets was inspired in part by some incidents of severe animal abuse here in Santa Barbara County. If we can teach kids from a really young age the importance of compassion and that animals have feelings just like us and the importance of being kind to other living beings, we can really prevent a lot of suffering and tragedies in the future. Nothing changes without education. That's fundamental in, within our communities. So if we don't start with the young kids, start to impose uh, values that sometimes are forgotten, like compassion, like empathy. Some people just never experience it. We live in a very cynical world, and the kids that we deal with specifically come from very challenging circumstances. It's very easy for them to, to feel that you know, there's no hope. For me, it's really about the fact that they're bringing the program to the Boys and Girls Club and they're exposing our kids to the proper way of dealing with pets. So this is a unique opportunity. Paws Up for Pets is really a proactive program and that is sort of the philosophy of Care for Paws as a whole. We want to intervene before an animal is abused or before an animal is allowed to breed or ends up in a shelter. So it's really about the big picture. We have an exercise in which we have the kids listen to their hearts and then we listen to a dog's heart and it's like, oh my God, well it sounds the same. It's the same organ. Therefore, why is it so different to understand that they have the same feelings? They're capable of, of feeling the same feelings, the same emotions. So we make it fun, we make it experimental, we make it hands-on, and at the end, everybody benefits from this. Not only do the kids get to interact with different types of pets, like dogs, and we have a miniature pony that comes, a little star, but they also get to visit the shelter, for example, and they see what happens firsthand when a pet is abandoned. One thing I did that was really fun was going to the animal shelter because I got to meet like all the pets, and different pets have different needs and different environments I need to put them in. Sometimes they could feel lonely, and sometimes they just need a friend. A lot of the kids we work with don't have a chance to stand out or get recognition for a lot of things in their lives. And so by earning that badge and the diploma, they really have a sense of ownership in this program. And we let them know that now they're responsible to go out there and be animal ambassadors and, and make a difference in our community. And I think they, that's a rare opportunity for them. There's nothing more rewarding that, than a community that's geared towards empathy, towards compassion, to truly being our brother's keeper. It takes a village, it takes everybody from the public sector, from private sector, nonprofits, everybody. We love having volunteers, we love getting the community involved, but it's also really important that we have the funding to make sure that we can not only create these programs, but implement them and continue running them. So I think if you have any desire to get involved with any organization, we always need donations and, and, and no amount is too small. What we're really talking about here is emotional education because these kids will take those values into their adulthood and they will treat others with so much more respect. So the ripple effects of that are really endless. We're really in the business of prevention. And if we can prevent future abuse and also inspire compassion in our community as a whole, we've really done our job.